I'm Dwayne. I'm a technician on the Canon or Ose Vario Print 6000 family of production printer. I'm going to go through and show just a few little things that operators can do, operator maintenance style things to keep your machine up and running. The first thing we're going to go over is how to get inside the engine. To do that, you're going to need to get your tools out. They come in a little cubby here. They actually have cutout slots. You have a D style wrench. A 10 millimeter driver and for some of these things you're going to use heat resistant gloves these will all be inside this cubby right here the first item is on occasion you'll get spots on your master belt that make your image on your paper I'm going to show you how to clean those spots off you have to take your 10 millimeter wrench lift this little door there's a nut in behind there Twist that counterclockwise. Then your front doors will open. And you're inside the main engine cavity. You're going to take your D handle or D wrench. You have five units you have to separate from the master, and they actually are numbered. So this is on this side, you have a secondary side and a primary side. L1, you have to rock it back. L2. L3, L4, and the last one is L5. Little bump there, and then your master will pull out. You want to make sure you do them in that order because if you start with L5 to come out, you will damage this belt. If you have little spots, you're going to use cleaner J. And it's a white cap bottle that won't damage this belt. You've also got a soft cotton pad. They call it an offset pad. Now what I like to do, just fold the pad over. Gives just a little bit more substance to the pad. Now, the thing about this cleaner is a little bit goes a long way. So just a little on your pad. And then you're going to find wherever you happen to have spots. On this machine, we've got a couple of spots right up here. I don't know if you can make those out. Just a little bit of off color there. Okay. You're going to put that on one of these rollers to give you a little bit of substance behind the belt. Little small circles to rub it on. And then you're going to go back with the dry edge of the, of the pad. And again, little small circles to rub that cleaner off. This cleaner will evaporate. I don't know if you can see that. What I'll do is if I'm kind of in a hurry, just blow on that cleaner and it'll help the evaporation process. And then you can see where your spots were they're not there anymore. You may find times where there are spots along this belt. You'll take the big cooling roller here and you can turn that belt and go to each individual spot and clean it. You want to make sure that you get all those spots cleaned off. We have some more spots right here. Just a little bit. And you'll notice I didn't add any new cleaner to this pad because this stuff sticks around for a little while. And that just helps that cleaner evaporate and then your spot is gone. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, you want to be careful to make sure that this belt is in the right place lined up with these points on the back. If you look now, you can see that this belt is back from these points a little bit. If you close this up and you boot the machine up, this will cause a code to pop off, a uh, 1554 code for this side. It just means that your belt is not in the right place. So in order to get that belt lined up with these points, you're going to turn the cooling roller again. If you go one direction, the belt will go back. Another direction, the belt will go forward. 
as you move it, you can see where it's moving towards the front. Then you look back on the back, you can find that your point in the side of your belt is even now. Last thing before you close this up, there is a weld on this belt, little spots of tape on the front and on the rear. You want to make sure that that is on the top of the assembly. It just helps with the tension when you close everything up and it starts running again. Then you're going to slide this assembly back into the machine. And you're going to close it up the exact opposite of the way you opened it. So this time you're going to go with five, four, three, two, and then one. You'll do the same, but it's a mirror image on the right hand side or primary side. These are marked with a K. One, two, three, four, and five. This is marked with an L. One, two, three, four, and five. They're mirror images. And that covers spot cleaning your master. You take care of your machine, your machine's going to take care of you. I'm Dwayne. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.